Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Mickey and today we are doing a back to school supply haul because for those of you who don't know, I am going back to college, yay. I am starting a second program for journalism to improve on my writing so that I can get into the field of social media management. So I am really excited. It's a two year program. I do plan on making a whole video kind of discussing why I decided to go back to school. So if you are interested in seeing that, definitely subscribe, press the notification bell and you'll get notified when that comes through. And of course, if you like the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Like I said, this is my second time going to college. I do have a four year bachelor's degree under my belt and which I graduated from in April of 2019. So to start off with, I just wanna show you guys a couple of things that I already have from past school that I saved. When I graduated, I did do a big declutter and I got rid of a lot of my school supplies and gave them to my little sisters who are in high school. So I did sort of have to start fresh, but also not really. Let me just show you guys the couple of things that I already have. So this is really old and stained. Um, this is a pencil pouch from Chapters Indigo. A few years old, I don't think, they probably don't sell anymore. In here, I have a bundle of colored pencils, double-ended colored pencils. I believe I got these, I'm pretty sure I got these for um, coloring books, doing like an adult coloring book. And then I have these multicolored pens. These are felt tip pens. I don't typically use felt tip pens, but I did want to have like a few colorful pen options. I believe I got these at the dollar store. Also from the dollar store, I have these two metallic markers. Also in here, I have a regular pencil and a glue stick. So all of these stationary items I already had. Adding into the stationary bucket, I recently picked up a multi-pack of these Papermate mechanical pencils. I'm not a huge pencil person when it comes to taking notes. I typically like to use pen, but my writing is so much neater when I use pencil and I always like to do my planner in pencil. Next up, I just picked up two fat black Sharpies. I find myself constantly wanting a Sharpie and never having one, so I picked some up into the pouch. Next, I thought this would be really fun to give a try. This is pastel highlighters. If anybody went to college with me and you saw me take notes, I highlight my notes in rainbow order just cause. I might actually do a little swatch for you guys cause I never got the um, the pastel ones before. So this is the Bic brand highlighters, which I typically get the Sharpie brand highlighters cause I find that the Bic brand ones do kind of smudge the ink of the pens that I use, which I'm about to show you. We'll see, we'll see how that goes. And as for pens, I discovered these pens actually the summer between grade 11 and grade 12 I took English in summer school so that I would have a extra free period in 12th grade to focus on my other courses since I did plan on getting a bachelor's degree I did really want to do well in my university level courses honestly I think that my good friend had this pen and I like stole it and I've been in love with these pens ever since so these are the pilot high Tech Point V5 RT and they have a liquid ink on the inside and I'll open these up to show you guys when they come they have a little wax tip on the bowl they are super 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 fine tipped um, these ones are 0.5 millimeters and like I said they're liquid ink so as you write it kind of comes out sort of like a mini fountain pen basically i will rave and rave and rave about these pens they're a little pricey this two pack was about eight dollars but these two pens will last me the entire school year guaranteed if i don't lose them <laughs> so there's those next thing that i grabbed was two packs of index cards i grabbed one colored pack and one white pack we are going to be doing online school so I'm going to have to be a lot more self-motivated than I'm used to so I think that these will come in handy for studying and whatnot. Next thing that I have is my planner. For the first time ever I am going for a full-size planner so this is the one I picked. 
It's just by Five Star and it has this geometric gold pattern. It's really cute. Why I picked this one and what I love about this one is that it has really big planning space for to-do lists. So they have it kind of set up like this where you can put a subject or category on the side and then you can write the to-dos that you have to do for those subjects or categories and then it has the weekends at the bottom. I plan on using the monthly spread for my video planning and there's a huge to-do list on the side. And then of course my daily to-do list that I do. If you've seen my waking up at 6 a.m. for a week video, I'll put it in the cards above. Definitely should subscribe and press the notification bell because I have a lot of exciting content coming this fall. I like to make a to-do list each and every morning to keep myself accountable and productive. So I am a paper planner kind of gal. I've been asked, why don't you do it digitally? I do both kind of. I like to use Google Calendar, but I'm definitely an analog paper kind of gal. Speaking of which, I have my notebooks. They are all the same gray Hillroy. Just like the, a cheap kind, one subject, 200 pages, college ruled. So I have three of these, and then I have one five subject. So I'm gonna be using probably the five subject as my like primary notebook. And then if I have any courses that I don't really need to take notes or my notes are gonna be more online because of the online classes, I'll do extra. So I'm taking seven courses, so six main courses and one elective. So I have my five subject and then I grabbed three one subjects because I thought I was taking eight courses but only seven so. And what I like to do at the end of each semester is I actually rip out that semester's notes and put them in a binder and then keep using the notebook if there's enough paper for the next semester. I'm pretty confident that these notebooks will last me the whole year. The last thing that I'm going to show you is not actually mine. I accidentally stole it from my mom. You're probably like, how did you accidentally steal something? Um, I made so I'll show you, it's a label maker. It makes these kind of labels. So I made a label with my name and I took the label maker and the label and I went to my bag and I put my label in the bag and well, obviously the label maker went in the bag as well. Didn't mean to steal it, sorry mom, I'll give it back to you. But uh, since I did steal it, I made labels for all of my classes. <laughs> this one was just chewed by my cat, so I have to make it again. So let's make it together because why not? It's visual media. And what I learned with this is you have to press, like actually squeeze kind of hard. And of course, the most important thing for online classes is my laptop my macbook pro i got a couple months ago and if you guys want to see the unboxing video for that again linked in the cards above and the description down below i am blessed enough that i was able to save up and afford this laptop on my own let's get to swatching these highlighters because i'm very interested in doing that that's the best view i can kind of give you right now because i broke my thingamabob that holds my phone they are officially in rainbow order. So let's give them a go. So this is the pink. So these do have a pretty fine tip. So if you have big writing like me, you'll need two swipes, but I'm not seeing So if I like go over it a bunch of times, like I, on this H for example, it does smudge the ink and you do get it on the tip. But you can also kind of brush it off. So that's the pink one. Here's the orange. I 
I really like the orange one. It's kind of like a peach. So the yellow is pretty typical for a highlighter, I think. I think it's a pretty normal yellow, maybe slightly less vibrant. It seems pretty normal to me though. The green. This is more like of a mint green. Okay. I love it. The green is nice because normal greens usually I can't really read through them. I don't know if that's just me. So this is like a nice teal blue. Okay, I really like these ones. All right, and the last one, the purple. Okay. So again, the purple one is pretty typical of a purple highlighter, I'd say. There's big pastel ones and then the Sharpie brand regular ones. So you can definitely tell the differences, especially the yellow. I really needed to see, ugh, ignore my nails. Um, I really needed to see the difference between the yellows. Wow. Overall though, I am extremely excited to use these for what I use them for. It's not really to highlight important information. I use it to like make titles and make it look pretty. So I'm really excited for these. And they don't seem to be smudging at all unless you rub like I said. And yeah, so that's really exciting for me. It is a pretty small haul, just a few items, but this is my fifth year of college that I'm about to go into, so I do already know what I need. Anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. If you did enjoy that, give the video a big thumbs up, press subscribe down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye!